Hi everybody, my name is Kaylee and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So guys, I'm gonna be honest, this whole posting Monday and Friday thing is just not working out in a way that like the guy has still not came to fix our wi-fi and we're moving literally in less than a month so i'm just at the point where i'm about to say screw it i have to go to other people's houses to edit my videos and stuff like that oh my god so still be expecting me to post on mondays and fridays but also expect it to be a day late yeah if that makes sense you know also i'm going to try and post more on tiktok again but i don't want to mess up the stuff that i'm doing on youtube because it's very hard to focus on two platforms at a time because so much goes into youtube that it's like by the time i need to film for tiktok i'm just literally drained mentally which sucks because i love posting for you guys on tiktok like that used to be my favorite thing but i'm ready to move on to bigger and better things not saying that i'm not going to post on tiktok anymore just pretty much saying that it, when i post on tiktok it's probably gonna be just one story time every week so if you know one of your friends or somebody who follows me just let them know that i post more story times on youtube now than i do on tiktok also i've been seeing a lot of your guys' comments um recommending me to do other videos let me know if you would like to see more more than story times from me because I always planned on this YouTube channel being a vlog channel but I just realized I'm terrible at vlogging. I vlogged my nose job journey but that was like kind of easy because you know I had something that was planned and could be a nice full video for you guys. I have some super exciting news for you guys so usually whenever I ask you guys to send in story times I ask you guys to send them in through Instagram DM. Well now instead of you guys sending them them through Instagram DM I've created a way for you guys to submit your story times and I will link it down below and I like it better because it's just like going back and forth with people is like the hardest thing to do because if I find an interesting story time that I want to do and I want to post I have to ask for more information and wait days for a response so this overall will make it easier on me and hopefully I'll be able to get story times out faster for you guys so if you guys want to send in your story time again i hate my neighbors why are you so loud so if you guys would like to send in your story time make sure you go check out the link that is in the description so that way you can send it in to me and just remember guys when you're sending these story times in to me make sure to put as much information as possible all right let's get into this story time so today's story time has been very highly requested like extremely requested so for most of the video i will be looking in this direction because my mirror is over here and i would like to see what i am doing and i tell these story times in a first person point of view if you don't like that why haven't you clicked out the video yet i gave you like two seconds now i'm going to be bringing you guys up close all right there we go okay so today's story time was sent in by an anonymous user story time about the guy who pretended to be gay in high school to get closer to all the girls i know you guys have been waiting for that one yep so a little background information when my friends and i first met this kid we were in middle school and he was one of the popular kids and he actually used to bully me and my friends. So fast forward, I was 15 and it was the first day of my freshman year in high school. So later on in the day, my friends and I, we were all sitting at lunch and we're gonna call this boy Alex. When Alex had came and sat at our lunch table. Now our lunch table had like six seats and me and my other three friends, we were all sitting on this side. So he had sat right at the end, very awkwardly too. Just like kind of slammed his tray down and sat there just looking at us. Giving me creepy vibes. But okay. I was trying to ignore this kid because he literally bullied me in middle school and I did not want to ask him what was wrong or why he was sitting with us. 
But after 10 minutes of him not saying anything and really just staring at us, like, it looked like he was eavesdropping too. I finally asked him why he wasn't sitting with his friends. And at first he had said that his friends were just being jerks, but of course I didn't really care. I was just asking him because I wanted to know why the hell he was listening in on my friends and I's conversations. Plus, there were literally like 10 other empty open tables. No reason for him to come and sit with us. Like you can't just bully someone for like two years and then go sit at their table and expect them to be nice to you. Sis, who do you think you are walking around with that kind of attitude? Ridiculous. So we just kept ignoring him and then out of nowhere, he's like, well, to be honest, they don't want to be friends with me anymore since I came out as gay. Plot twist, we were not expecting that. Nope, because this kid literally used to brag in eighth grade about how many girls he would get. I remember those kids. They were always weird. So we looked over at his friend's table and they were all just looking over and laughing at us. They had also bullied us too in middle school. So my best friend Julie, she goes over to their table and she starts yelling at all of them and pretty much makes a scene. Like the whole lunchroom was looking at Julie. So after that, the security guard came over, took her to the office and she got in school suspension for trying to be a good person, you know, just sticking up for this kid who had bullied us, which I'm pretty sure now she regrets doing that. But you know what? She was a good freaking person. Well. I'll be back once they are done doing whatever the hell they are doing. So every day after that, he started sitting at our lunch table. And low key, I felt bad because we would all make plans in front of him and we wouldn't invite him because we still knew him as the kid who bullied us in middle school. Even though we were getting to know him more and stuff like that, it was still just very weird and awkward for us. So the one day while we were sitting at lunch, he had asked us if we all wanted to hang out. So of course we said yeah, and we all decided to go to my house, which my house was usually where my friends and I would hang out anyways. So everybody got on my bus and we went to my house, started hanging out. And on the weekends, my parents would let me drink. So we were all drinking, having a super good time. And my friend Julie was just one of those people to bring up shit that was awkward, but she didn't care. She was like confrontational. Like if she had a problem with you, you would know because she would have already told you. But anyways, Julie says to Alex, I think it's funny all of a sudden how you want to hang out with us yet you used to bully us in middle school. And me, Megan, and Danny, we're just sitting there like, what the actual, like this girl, she just made everything awkward. Like sis woke up every day and chose violence. So he starts crying, like literally bawling his eyes out. And he's like, honestly, like the only reason why I did it was so that way I would look cool in front of my friends. And I've always been jealous of how good of friends you guys are. Like he sounded really genuine and like he actually meant it. So after that, we all pretty much had a moment together. You know, we were like, it's okay. You know, like you have good friends now, you know, we'll never treat you the way that they treat, we'll never treat Treat you the way that they did. So naturally we started hanging out with him more and we started getting closer to him. And he actually seemed like a really nice kid. Like he seemed very genuine. And me, Danny, Julie, and Megan, we all had like a different type of friendship with him, if that makes sense. Like I wanna say that he was closer with Julie than any of us, but he would be really nice to Gabby. You would have thought that he had a crush on Gabby because of how sweet he was with her and stuff like that. I want to say all of us were comfortable with him except for Megan. Megan had like the biggest issue with him. Like she would always say that he gave her like weird vibes. But if I'm being honest, it's only because her older brother was gay and she thought that everybody who was gay had to be like very flamboyant. But it got to the point where she didn't even want to be around him. Like she stopped coming to our sleepovers. She even stopped sitting at our lunch table. And she had told me the reason besides the thing 
thing about her brother was they had a few classes together and he would act totally different in those classes than he would whenever he was around me, Danny, and Julie. Apparently he would still hang out with the friends that would make fun of him all the time and overall he would just be super mean to her in class. Anyways, let me give you an idea of the type of friendship that we had with him. When we would hang out with him, to be honest, it was just like having another girl a part of our friend group. We were fine with getting dressed in front of him because he said that he was gay. Of course, we didn't think that he was looking at our tatas or anything like that. Even though he would still ask really weird questions like, oh, have you guys ever sent nudes? Or have you ever done anything with a guy? But we just brushed it off because we had just thought that he was being curious, you know? Anyway, so two months goes past. We start getting very close to him. We start telling him things that nobody knew about us. Like, for example, my friend Julie, she had been born with both private parts and she felt comfortable enough to come out and tell that to him, which is something that she had only told us five years after she knew us. So I guess you could say him and Julie were getting pretty close. But like I said earlier, that's just the type of friendship they had. They were closer than any of us were to him. So a little bit about Megan, even though she didn't really like Alex, she would still hang out with us just whenever he wasn't around. But the one day I was in my science class, no. Ugh. Anyways, well, the one day I was in my science class and I get a text from Megan. It's a picture of Alex at a party kissing some girl and his old group of friends are right behind him. Later on that day at lunch, I was showing it to Julie and Danny whenever Alex comes over and sits down and he's like, oh, what are you guys looking at? And when I show him the picture, he's like, OMG, that's from two two years ago, like how did you guys get that? And I didn't tell him that Megan has sent it to me because their friendship was already a little rocky and to be honest, I just thought she sent me that picture either not knowing that it was from two years ago or just trying to get us to stop being friends with him. Well, the one day we had all been on FaceTime and out of nowhere, Alex says, oh, I've never seen boobs before just like weirdly out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, we'll just like look up a picture, you know? So he looks up a picture and he sends a picture into our group chat and he's like, ooh, is this really what they look like? And he sent a picture in of like some botched boob job, I guess. And Julie's like, no, come on the camera. And she lifts up her shirt and she shows him her boobs. And Danny does the same thing. So I just decided to do it too. So we all lift up our shirts and we show him our boobs. And we were on FaceTime, so we didn't know if he screenshotted it but we trusted him you know we were like this kid's really not gonna screenshot our boobs like he's freaking gay so a few days after that while I was in school I saw him walking around with the group of friends that he had said made fun of him so after that I start to believe Megan I'm sitting there and I'm like why would you be walking around with kids that make fun of you for who you are so he goes to sit with us at lunch and I tell him oh no you can go sit with your friends and he was like what do you mean and I'm like oh well I saw you walking around with them in the hallway earlier and he was like no 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 like I was just talking to them about how I needed my cleats back like they still had them and they weren't giving them back to me so my mom and I are going over there after school to go and get them so giving him the benefit of the doubt I believe him and I just decide that I'm gonna keep an eye on him after that situation but after that he started hanging out with us more than he was before like anytime after class he would meet us at our classes and stuff like that like this kid was up our asses to try and gain our trust back I guess but he wouldn't even go near his old group of friends anymore like Megan said that he stopped sitting with those kids in the classes that they had together so she started coming around us more and stuff like that and actually started to become friends with him again because she was friends with him at first but that was before he started hanging out with his old group of friends during class and stuff like that 
that. This kid would even come in the locker room before gym class while we were all getting dressed. The teacher didn't really care though because he was gay. And also, very weirdly enough, he started acting way more flamboyant than he was before. I don't know if it's because he didn't feel comfortable or he was like trying to prove to us that he was gay, which he didn't have to do at all. But whatever floats your boat, kid. Another quick thing, nobody knew that this kid was gay. It was only me and my group of friends and his old group of friends, which I thought was completely weird, but then again, not really because sometimes it's hard for people to come out. That was a little sus to us, but we kind of just left that alone and let him deal with that. So fast forward, the one weekend, everybody was busy except for me and Danny, so her and I decided to have a sleepover with just each other. And while we were hanging out, she brought up how Alex was texting her and begging her to do the nasty with him. And at first I didn't believe her. I'm like, OMG, like he has to be kidding, you know? Like I doubt that he would actually say that, like he's gay. No chance in hell he wants to do the nasty with any of us or he's interested in any of our lady parts. So she had let me go through their conversations and surely enough, he was begging her to do it with him. He was pretty much saying things like, they said the only reason why I'm gay is because I can't get with any girls. Just a bunch of other mean stuff like that. And basically the rest of their conversation just pretty much went like she would say no and he just kept asking her why. Like he was very almost forceful on why she would not do the nasty with him. And not to mention, she was a virgin. She had never done anything with anybody before. And doing the nasty was like a big deal to her, which is understandable because it's like that for a lot of people. So the next weekend, all of us had a sleepover at my house. And by the way, my parents didn't really care if he slept over or hung out at my house because they knew that he was gay. But everybody was downstairs watching a movie and Alex and I were up in my bedroom and finishing up some homework when I decided to bring up the fact that Danny showed me their conversations. Can I just butt in here real quick? There were already so many red flags about this kid. He gave y'all so many signs. Anyways, back to the story. So like I had said, I told him about Danny showing me the conversation and he was like, OMG, I'm so sorry. I was super drunk that night. Letting everything that my old friend said get to me. He was like, even though I'm not friends with them, I still care what they think about me. And then I explained to him that he can't just repeatedly ask a girl to do the nasty when she doesn't want to. Like that right there is giving me very much sus, not okay vibes at all. And he was like, yeah, I'm so sorry. Like I'll apologize to her. Like I said, I was drunk, da 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 da. Just a whole bunch of bullshit. So then after I had explained that to him, I was like, okay, well, why don't you just tell them that you did it with us? And he was like, well, they wouldn't believe me because they would be like, oh, show us proof, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, hold on a minute. I'm gonna go downstairs, you wait up here. So I had went downstairs and I told Danny that I talked to Alex about what he said to her the other night. And I was talking to Julie. Megan was also there. Cause like I said, she had started coming to our sleepovers again and stuff like that. And that was after I had had the conversation with Alex about hanging out with his toxic ass friend group. So I was telling them about the conversation that I was having with Alex. And I was like, yeah, he says they won't believe him without proof. And Julie was like, well, why don't we just do it with him? And Megan and I look at each other and we're like, what do you mean? All of us? And she was like, yeah, why not? And I look at her and I'm like, did you not just hear about the conversation that I had with him about the way that he had talked to Danny the other night? And and she was like, well, Danny doesn't have to if she doesn't want to. And surprisingly, Megan goes, yeah, well, he's already seen us all naked before. And I'm just like, sis, like you just had a problem with this kid last week. So everybody except for Danny agrees. I agree too. I'm like, whatever, you know what? Let's get it going. So we all go upstairs, we sit around him in a circle and he just stares at us and he's like, what are you guys doing? And Julie's like, well, we all heard about how your friends were saying that you needed proof that you could get with any girls and stuff like that. And then 
I'm gonna try to get through this part as fast as I can. Julie sets up her camera in the other side of the room, facing towards my bed, and we are all already unclothed at this point, except for him. And at this time, I wanna say that it was around one in the morning, and we didn't really have to worry about my parents because my mom and my stepdad were cheating on each other anyway, so they were always out at the bars and stuff like that, in the casinos. So they were rarely home on the weekends. So I wanna say like 20 minutes after we're getting into everything, Danny comes upstairs. She get, takes off her clothing, gets into it also. Oh my God, I don't feel comfortable talking about this. But yeah, she joins in, you know. Oh my God. So after that, we all fell asleep. And when we woke up, Alex was gone, which was not normal at all because usually he would stay for breakfast, the girls would leave, and then he would have to wait for my parents to get home from work to take him home because his dad worked on the weekends, so his mom didn't have a car to use to come pick him up. So we thought that was extremely weird. And another thing, he was not answering any of our texts throughout the day. And we weren't really worried though because Julie had never sent the video to him. So Sunday night, I'm getting ready for bed when I get a group FaceTime call from Julie, Megan, and Danny. And I get on the phone and Julie is freaking out like really badly. She's like, um, gee, you guys know how I didn't send the video to him the night before? She was like, well, he went on my phone and he sent the video to himself. So we're all freaking out right now. So eventually Danny is able to get a hold of him. And when she does, he just says, what do you want? Like, no, hey, sorry, you know, my phone was dead or anything. He just said, what do you want? Like, what do you mean, what do I want? You just sent a video of all of us doing stuff that was nasty to yourself and you've been ignoring us. What a douche. What a douche, actually. Hate man, hate, hate, hate man. So the next day we go to school and we're looking for Alex before first period starts. And usually at this time, Alex would be waiting at the auditorium for us, but he wasn't there. Surprise, right? No. Sneaky little bastard. So we start walking to his locker and while we're walking to his locker, we feel like low key people are just staring at us. Well, at this time, Megan wasn't at school yet, but she had texted us and she was like freaking out. She was like, guys, look at Instagram right now. Like right, right now. Like she sent a picture of her crying with her mascara running, saying she's not going to school today. And what do you know? We are tagged on this Instagram account. And let me break it down for you real quick. There's pictures of all of us lifting up our shirts on FaceTime. There were pictures of a bunch of other girls getting changed in the locker room before gym class. There were even pictures of girls in the showers after gym class. So we're all freaking out. Danny refreshes the page and the video of all of us pops up. Yup. And from the video, there is a zoomed in screenshot of Julie. And under the post, the caption was, now I can't say exactly what it said, but hopefully you guys get the gist. Those must be the scars from where they cut it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, once again, I hate men. Like I would tell my dad, y'all don't even wanna know what my dad would do. Let's just say it would probably get him a life sentence. Anyways, so we all go to the guidance counselor. We tell her what's going on. We show her the Instagram page. We ended up going to the principal's office. They saw everything as did everybody else in my school. They called our parents. The Instagram page was taken down. They went on his phone and deleted everything even though we already knew that pretty much everybody had that shit by now. Not only that, but multiple other girls were involved, not just us four. Our gym teacher was on permanent leave or whatever the heck it's called, I guess suspension maybe not perm I, I don't know but she was fired she yeah she was fired rightfully so so pretty much after that my parents decided to send me to a private school and I was not allowed to be friends with Danny Jolie or Megan anymore because they didn't want me associated with people like that even though I literally did the same shit and pretty much to close out this story time my mom, my dad, my stepmom, and my stepdad all saw a video of me and my five friends doing it in my bedroom. So, yeah.
yeah. All right, guys, that is the end of this story time. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I post every Monday and Friday, or I try to post every Monday and Friday. Usually it's a day late. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of me, maybe hit that subscribe button. And if I am late on posting a video, make sure to click that bell so that way you know when I upload my next video. Also, if you had skipped through the intro, oh, wait a minute. I have exciting news. Instead of you guys sending me story times through DM, I now have a link down below that you guys can click and submit your story time. Just remember to add as much detail as you can. And if you wanna see if I posted your guys' story time, make sure that you follow me on TikTok and you're subscribed to me on YouTube to see if I posted your story time. Happy Tuesday and I love you guys.